Hey guys, this is Forsaken Reality here with the 32nd episode of the RPG uh, tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be looking into setting up our dialogue system. Before we can do that, we're going to want to set up some interaction. And we're actually going to redo our, all of our interaction for items so that it's a universal uh, interface that does the uh, interaction versus us having to set up different interactions for different items, it'll make it much easier to use down the road when you want to actually add new interactable things from items, objects, etc. So without further ado, we will get into that. The first thing we're going to want to do is go to our blueprints and we're going to want to create our interface. And that's going to be BPI underscore interaction interface and we're going to want to open that up create a new, our new function called interact we create an input for our character reference it's going to be our master character and you can compile and save that um, next we're going to go to our character and in here we can drag this out some, by the way I'm in my pickup trace, drag out this last bit here and you want to right click and cast to interaction interface, get the one that's not a class Plug this in like so. We're going to want to set an interactable reference. So whatever we're, being, we're interacting with. So basically now anything with the interactable interface implemented, it will allow it to pass through here when it's hit with our line trace. Let's put a print string after right here. So basically this will run if the interactable interface is on it. For example, we'll set it on our AI, but we're not going to want to use our master AI because we want it to, we want our AI to have dialogue but not all of our AI. So example you're fighting monsters around your world, you don't want to be able to talk to all those monsters. So we want to share, create a separate child for the for AI that'll specifically be for dialogue. And this will be BP underscore. And we'll just name it. BP master dialogue NPC and NPC just stands for non-player character. We'll create a folder for dialogue NPCs and I don't like the way that looks. So let's put interactable NPCs. We'll put our dialogue NPC in here for now. Maybe we'll have different kind of, a of interactable NPCs. So this is just going to be one type. We'll move him in here and he'll be our master dialogue. So you want to open him up. Go to your class settings and then add your interaction interface. I'm also going to quickly just to differentiate them, go to my material, create a material instance. I'm going to call this green. You can change it to whatever color you want. You want to do this. And then I'm just going to save that color like that. Go to our dialogue master. And now we have our color set there. We can browse to here, here to get directly to this folder again. I'm going to create a child, bp underscore 
civilian NPC. It's just going to be an example for us. So like anybody, any character you make from this will also inherit the interface. So like if you're civilians who walk around, you could have your, I don't know. I don't know. We'll look into the, that later on, but basically every child will have its own specifics. Like, you know, if you have civilians, maybe just like other people that you can talk to that aren't civilians. I'm not too sure how you would want to set that up specifically. But now we want to go into our, we have our mat. Actually, yeah, we have it set up in there. So I'm just going to save all and drag these two guys into the game. So we should get that message to send in our player when we interact with them. So, so you can see the interactable interface is implemented on the child and the master. And that's because in our character blueprint, we have the interactable interface right there set and it's going through and it's sending the message. Um, but now we can't pick up items because it won't set our pickup reference because it doesn't have an interactable interface. So we're going to start by setting up our master item, master pickup, I mean, and just add the interaction interface. I'm going to compile. Get bent interact. This is where eventually our pickup is going to be handled. And we're just, for now, we're just going to, going to print string. So this, they can know there's an item being interacted it with. And in our uh, character, just double checking to make sure of everything in here. We're actually going to want to drag out and do our interact interface call so it'll actually send the message to the event. So this sends the message and if the interface is in implemented on what on the hit actor that's being traced to, then it will send this event on the, on the pickup item and it will be item is being traced to. Now we should be able to pick up our items again. And it should say item being traced, interacted with. So now it knows we have items. So that should be good. Um, we have our interface on our master dialog. We want to call our bent interact in our, in here. Next thing we're going to want to do is our our uh, interaction is going to be set through our uh, dialog component for our AI. So we want to go to our blueprints, components, right click, blueprint class, create an actor component, and it's going to be PC underscore dialog component. And in here, we'll just go to our class settings and get our interaction interface. Their event interact. So now it's so also going to change the color of this one so you can clearly see it. So now we have our dialog component event interact and but you'll notice that uh, when we interact it's not tracing you notice that's not getting that pink text because even though it's in here because we want it's tracing to our uh, AI that has the interactable interface, but it's not getting into the component. So from here you want to 
um, get your dial, add your dialog component. And you notice even with this added and the event set there, it still won't get the message. So you want to get your dialog component and type in interact. And you want to do an interface call to your dialog component. Or yeah, actually you want a message. So um, you want to drag out of your character reference and get interact. And you'll get the BPI, to scroll down, you get the BPI interaction interface and the mean interface call and interface message. You want to click the message and you'll get this, but you don't want the target to be your, uh, that your character, you want it to be your character reference and you want to get your dialogue component. Plug that in like so. Clean that up a little bit. Now, when we interact with our NPCs, it should get the message inside. So, yeah, see, now we're getting the dialogue component interaction. And everything should work on both clients, yeah. So, you're getting the client exact interacting there, and the server is interacting on the other one. Save all just to make sure everything's all good. Just going to do some quick commenting. Basically, it's saying if interface is implemented so like this is implement an interface and then it will run true uh interact we're actually gonna want to put self here get your self reference uh comment basically saying that it's sending a message from here so if this so because this has it this implemented it will be able to pass through and continue on if it fail if it didn't it would fail and come down through here for example and if it does it will send the message to the interact and that will play this event if it interacts with the item if it interacts with a player it will send it'll play this event which will send it to our dialogue component And that's the commenting there. Uh, the interaction trace hits the player. And we're actually, this is the interaction trace. We're going to change pickup to interaction. It's going to handle all of our interaction. It's not our interaction trace. And I'm just going to copy this message because I have it right here. And finally, we'll do this one. And 
The reason I'm setting it up this way is because, for one, it doesn't allow you into here for some reason. This is the way I found around it. And also, if you have an MP NPC they want to interact with and say, you don't want to talk to them. You want it to directly open, like, for example, open up a shop or perform some, any other kind of, literally anything else that would require you to interact. You could, you'd have, you'd create your checked hair, hair determine what's going to happen when you interact because it won't send it. Because if say you have it some going somewhere else and then it, it's not a, a uh, dialogue, then basically it won't send it into the dialogue. Rather, it'll we'll do another kind of interaction. Um, that's going to be everything for this episode. If you found this video helpful and you want to see more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new tutorial uploads. If you have any, any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below or join my Discord server using the link in the description. Uh, thank you, and I will see you all in the next episode.